Again tonight with a surprise witness in the trial involving Paul Pelosi. For the first time, we heard from David DePat, the man charged with attacking Congresswoman Nancy Pelosi's husband. Investigative reporter Candace Wynn was in court for that testimony today and joins us this evening in studio. Candace, what stood out to you? Hey, Raj, a lot stood out, but first and foremost, that surprise testimony of DePap when defense attorneys called DePap to the stand, a surprise at least to the people watching from the gallery. Out of the five witnesses who spoke today, DePap's testimony was the one everyone was glued to, although I have to say it didn't always make a lot of sense. Defense attorneys started off by asking DePap about his political views. He called himself right centric and said he thought 9 11 was an inside job. Now, just a few minutes into that testimony, DePap seemed to get overwhelmed and broke down in tears. In fact, he cried a few times throughout his testimony, but he was clear when asked about why he broke into the Pelosi's home in San Francisco. He said although he attacked Paul Pelosi, Nancy Pelosi was always his target that night. He wanted to kidnap her that night, tie her up and record a video of her telling the truth, he said, and then he wanted to post it online. And then he wanted to use Nancy Pelosi to get to other people like Gavin Newsom, a Michigan professor, and ultimately to get to the president's son, Hunter Biden. Now, DePap said he never intended to hurt Paul Pelosi. He said he only hit him with a hammer when Pelosi, when police, excuse me, arrived and Pelosi reached for that weapon in his hand. He said that was a last minute reaction. Now, Pelosi survived that attack, but suffered a major head injury. Right? Yes, yeah, still still chilling to see that video from the police cameras there. Uh, this trial is progressing pretty quickly here. Yesterday, Paul Pelosi on the trial today to Pat. Who else testified today? Yeah, quite a few people. The neurosurgeon who operated on Paul Pelosi that night, a Michigan professor, as I mentioned, to Pat's neighbor who lived across the street and Nancy Pelosi's chief of staff. Now, what stood out there to me was actually to Pat's neighbor who said that she had a pretty cordial, professional, polite relationship with the tap the Pat and her actually nodded and looked at each other few times in court smiling at each other and that sort of painted a different picture of DePap compared to what we've been seeing. And in court, DePap clean cut and mild mannered essentially? Yes, he was mild mannered, clean cut, engaged with the attorneys, but every once in a while during his testimony, he did get overwhelmed. Okay, what happens next in this trial? So it, things seem to be wrapping up tomorrow, closing arguments and then jury deliberations. Okay, so we could have a verdict by next week. Very soon. Okay, thank you, Candace. Janelle.